Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to Nekajishi. This is near the end. We have got two more endings to go. Guardian Tiger's final ending and Leopard Cat's ending. I'm going to try it. These aren't easy to get. You have to be fairly specific in how you balance the characters out. But I'm going to try for Guardian Tiger's final ending. And yeah, if you want to see what happens, I would recommend checking out some of the other videos because I'm going to skip a lot and I might end up skipping things that I've not seen before. But we're going to try. We're going to try and get most of the main bits. And yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's go in. Okay, not you, Senpai. Maybe next time. See you later. I'm hoping that this is the right one now. I've done this about five or six times now. I've, I've tried everything. Okay, so I've tried to get these two. Yeah, these guys are having the fight now. So you try to balance Guardian Tiger and Clouded Leopard. You try and keep them both good. You ignore Senpai completely. <laughs> Guardian Tiger and Liao. Yeah. They form a pact. Clouded Leopard shows up. He wants to fight a bit more. We go Super Saiyan. Beat the guy up. And then, yeah, we see him off because we're powered up. Okay. What do you think it means to take your spirit power away from you? One cannot divide the power of a spirit... To take the spirit away from you, well, let me put it this way. It would be akin to formatting your computer's memory, clearing who you are from your body, your personality, your memory is gone. Yes, so Clouded Leopard wants Liao's spiritual power, and he's going to remove it forcibly. And yeah, we're not having that. It would be no different than killing the person known as Ling Tiang Lao. It's that serious. What else would you believe? That you could take away your spirit power without it changing who you are. Even Ram cannot retain information without power. You make it sound so normal. I was merely trying to convey it in a way that you would understand. Uh huh. It feels odd. Did Leopard really know exactly what he was doing? Here we go. So, what are we gonna do? Maybe he really did misunderstand what he was doing. Or oh, Tiger's right. I should stay with him. I've got to make a decision. It's a big decision. Obviously, I've tried this so many times. I've saved it. I've backed it up. I'm also using a guide. I'm cheating completely. And it says to believe in Clouded Leopard, I guess. So maybe he did misunderstand. Well, now, I don't think Leopard would understand all the computer talk. Are you sure he knows all of that? That was only a metaphor, Liao. Such things are common sense to gods. Besides, did I not ask him whether he knew what he was doing? He said as much. But he never said what he knew. You only asked him, right? Right. There has to be some kind of misunderstanding. I don't think he's the type of person who would kill someone. Yeah, if you've seen some of the other endings, it's it's possibly something that might be on the cards. Anyway, I'd love to believe that, but even if he didn't know that it would kill you, he absolutely knew that it would hurt you. I cannot forgive him for that. Yeah. Um. I want to believe him. Leopard, there has to be something wrong here. I don't think he's the kind of person who would actually hurt someone. Liao, why are you always like this? No matter what, I want to ask him. Has he not said enough? He believed in what he was doing, and that you would try to stop him no matter what. Maybe he didn't really want to fight you. I think he'll talk, especially now that he knows he's no match for us. He won't be able to fight. I'd call you naive, but I know that this is just how you are. So fine, do what you must. But first, how do you expect to find him? I don't see him ever coming back in a hurry. I don't know. Well, waiting a few days is an option, but I really don't see Leopard returning. After all, he just attacked us. Yeah, we went Super Saiyan, beat him up, kicked him out. Do we have to look for him then? Tiger, Lin Hu. Yeah, we've given him a name as well by this point. Do you know a way to find him? What about Claire Audience? I don't see it working. Finding that Leopard's Kite is an arduous task among gods. If he chose to hide in the mountains, even clairvoyant and clairaudience would not find him. Naturally, their power is weaker where there are no humans. What about asking some Yaogai? What would make you think I have some Yaogai at my beck and call? Well, I see, okay. Liao, must you worry this much over him? He ran away safely, so I'm certain he will make it back to Wutai in due time. But if you're that dead set on finding him, you could always go to Wutai as much as I would disapprove. There'd be no way to know whether his power would be strengthened there, or if other gods would assist him. It's kind of reckless. Yeah, I doubt he's gone back yet, so if we can work out a way to contact him before then... Gotcha. 
I take out my phone, dial a number. I can ask Jahal, maybe he knows something. I wait for the phone to dial, Jahal picks up right away. Yo yo Jahal, I gotta ask you something. What's up? Well, so the Rukai people, what ceremony do you perform or offerings would prepare you if you need to ask something of a god? Uh, why? Liao, even if you ask me, I... Sorry, it's an emergency, can you help? It's gonna be hard, if I had to guess, I don't think anyone in my family would know. Uh, why not? Well, my family has been Christian since my mum's generation, so most of the Rukai traditions were never passed down to us. If you really need to know, you probably have better luck in the library than with my family. No way. But I can always ask my aunt and see if I can dig anything up. Just don't expect much. Gotcha. So, what's wrong? You can tell me if you want to. Maybe I can help. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing. It's okay if you don't want to say. This might sound weird, but I decide to tell him. It's a gamble, but it might be my only chance. So, remember how I asked if there were any clouded leopard Rukai gods? What if I said I had to talk to that clouded leopard god? Clouded leopard god? Who could that be? Uh, well, I won't pry for details. I don't know any specific ceremony for this, but usually we use wine and meat as offerings. Get some millet wine and roasted pork belly and go to an open space and pray. That's the only way I can think of. Other than that, I'll ask around. Millet wine and pork belly? Thanks. Big help. What did I help you with? N never mind. Tell me when you're ready. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. I hang up the call. Millet wine and pork belly, it won't be hard to buy those from any market. If it were me, I would not be pleased by offerings from just any market. Then I'll go to the old street markets if I have to. But if I have to go there, we might not have enough time unless we go now. Alright, let's go. Alright, must we really go out at this hour? Are right, we going to get our shopping and we're going to get some millet wine and do an offering? Yeah, this is definitely new. The next morning, I bring all the food I got last night up with me into the mountains and behind my campus. The tongue blossoms are in bloom, and expected. We came too early to see them last time. It's lovely. Do you not think we should do it here? We can't exactly perform a ceremony on a mountain path now, can we? Eh, you're very right, but I wish Leopard could see this. Well, if he does appear, he'll not miss it. Yeah, I hope he shows up. I wish Senpai could be here too. It's been a day now, and he hasn't gotten in touch with me. Maybe he's already gone back home. Thanks to him, I was able to see the tongue blossoms last time we were here. While I reminisce, we arrive at our destination. It's exactly the same as last time, but back then, all of three of them were by my side. Alright, I'm getting sentimental. I've got to get this done. If this works, at least one of them will be back here with me. I lay down a plastic sheet across some rocks under a tree, arranging my offerings onto it. My offering consists of boar meat sausages and millet mochi from Old Street. I've never seen leopard drink, but I got a bottle of millet wine anyway. The millet mochi was just in case. I'm not sure if it's enough, but this is my best chance. I drizzle some wine around the plastic sheet before pouring the rest into a cup next to the food. Then I close my eyes and pray sincerely with all my heart. Clouded leopard, Likalau. If you can hear my prayers, please listen to my humble request to speak with you. Yesterday, when you attacked me, why did you do it? Did you truly wish to harm me? Was your hesitation out of care for me? Before all of that, why didn't you tell me your worries? I know it's talking is hard for you, but you could always have come to me with your troubles. Even if you didn't have the words to say it, I'd understand. If I knew, maybe I could have helped you. Maybe we could have found another solution. Even if I didn't go to Wutai, can we not solve this together? Your worries, your doubts, and everything you want, why didn't you tell me? I want to know what lies behind the inscrutable poker face of yours. Whenever you go out of your way to help me, you end up screwing it up and just hurting yourself. How can you be so senseless? So yeah, I'm mad. Not that you attacked me, but because you left without telling me. Do you really think you can just leave me like this? I never said you could leave, so please at least tell me why. Damn, what am I even doing? He can't hear that anger within my heart. I just wanted to pray for his return. I let my emotions run overboard. Oh, there he is. Liao's angry. I'm sorry. You're back? Yeah, I'm back. No, oh, have we started a game of charades? It may as well be if you don't speak. Sorry. Alright, honestly, I should be angry, but I'm not at all. It really is okay. But I want to know. Likalau, why did you attack me? 
Do you actually believe that you can take away my power without hurting me? Yes, she said I could. What? Wait, Senpai? That kitten? What? What? How to take power? Liao's spirit power. Take it from my people. Liao not see. People can see. And you believed that? Yansuji said I could. Why would you believe him? Now, if that were true, would you not believe that he would do it for himself? Would he really give that opportunity to you? I'm stronger. He can't do it. He leaves the opportunity to me. I'm speechless. How could you not know how impossible that is? Spirit power is that of the soul. You cannot take one and leave the other behind. They are one and the same. He'd die. Yan Sichi said. I don't bloody care what he said. Liao will die if you take his spirit power. Oh, so you wish to prove it? Go ahead. Do it. What would you do if he died? Learn to scrutinise the truth for yourself. Liao would certainly die. Or did you believe that he'd go to sleep and forget about everything? Yan Sichi said. Liao would pass out. He'd look dead, but he'd be fine after a few days. Can he really be that naive? Such a thinly veiled liar. A convenient ploy to have you believe his lifeless body is all fine and dandy, while you return to your tribe none the wiser. Would you really feel at ease to leave him in such a state? If not then, one day you'd think to check up on Liao, just to return to Taipei and discover him dead, naught left to do but regret your actions. Some people are gullible, but you're a reckless idiot. But Senpai said stop. <laughs> oh, Senpai. Oh my god. Why would Senpai try to convince Leopard to kill me? What? Senpai, why would he do that? Would it not be for your power? Didn't Senpai need me to be his new priest? It makes no sense to kill me. How could I help him dead? He said he was about ready to give up. Last time we talked, Senpai wanted to see who food gone one last time. I thought he just wanted to go home. Okay, I see no reason to trust him. After all, anyone can speak words, but that doesn't mean they're true. Have you seen this temple in Miaoli? Have you met the food gone? He speaks of recruiting you as a priest, but what if his intentions were to take you away to use you for your power? I knew fiendish kitten was no good. Uh, Senpai really wanted to kill me. How could he? Hey, Aborigine, by any chance, did the fiend say he wanted to meet you? after the other deed that had been done. Yeah, as I guessed, he knew he could pull the wool over your eyes. You'd do whatever he wanted. I'm sure he would make a move to steal Liao's power from you. A flawless pan for a fool like you. Uh, how do you know if that's the truth? Maybe Senpai really can take my spirit power. Impossible. Even if there was a way, would he not have had to test it first? It's obviously wrong. I bet he said not to mention it to me, that I would never have allowed it. That you should just use force instead, am I not correct? <laughs> this is... Oh, I wasn't expecting this twist. Oh, shit. Uh, his sudden disappearance always struck me as odd. It's rather convenient. Lin Hu, do you think that he planned this? Oh, this was absolutely premeditated. How could he? Senpai? Wasn't he close to me? Didn't he care? He was so nice to me. Always wanting to spend time with me, going shopping, the hot spring, hiking to see the tongue blossoms. Sure, he messed around, made fun of me, spread rumours about us at club even though I didn't want him to. But Senpai, why did you ask me to have dinner with you? Why did you beg me to date you? I thought you liked me. Was he really lying to me all along? Suchi lied. What else could it be? If I take spirit, Liao would die. Clouded Leopard finally gets it. Without a doubt. I won't forgive. Well, you can say that, but what difference does it make? After the failure of such a heinous plan, I'll be damn sure that he has fled far, far away. There's nothing we can do. I can... what? Difficult? Alright, as I said, as Chris as I am about the Fiend, I doubt that there's any way to drive him out of hiding. He would have surely expected me to ask Clairvoyant to help working out some countermeasure beforehand. If he desires Liao's power still, he will most likely turn up again. However, he should now know very well that we'll kill him if we find him first. I doubt he'll take that risk blindly. But he's a troublesome kitten. He could be hiding away performing terrible acts as we speak. 
It would be wise to find him. I know his smell. What? Well, how so? My power. I need the oracle to help, then I can find him. An oracle? Okay, I think I get it. In that case, we should return home. Now, Leopard, do you promise to never harm Liao again? I won't. I promise. Very well. Alright, let's go. Am I really destined to such bitter anguish? Gods can feel anguish. <laughs> you got no idea, mate. Many of us are far less fulfilled than I. Senpai! <laughs> oh my god. What's wrong? You've been sighing ever since we left. I'm hesitant. What about? Finding that fiendish kitten. Uh, so how can we find him? You don't have to sound so disappointed. Isn't it important to find him? So the glum face. Well, I have to do something I'd really rather not do. Yeah? Let me put it this way. Liao, how much do you trust the leopard? What? Liao? Li yeah, I trust him. What's wrong? Even though he attacked you? It wasn't his fault. Even if he was fooled, he still attacked you. What if it's to happen again? Do you really trust that he would never try harming you after that? Uh, kind of really promised to that. Even though he was fooled, he still attacked me. What if it happened again? I mean, I know he'd never do anything to hurt me, but I won't. I won't harm Liao ever again. I wasn't asking you, Airhead. Although you might convince Liao still, uh, perhaps. I'll leave it to the both of you. What? What? How enigmatic. What does Lin Hu mean by that? Liao, sorry. You don't need to say sorry. Why did he apologize again? Sorry can't solve everything. I need. Liao must know. I want to change. Change? Change. I want Liao to know. What do you want me to know? Everything. Everything? You can't really tell me everything all at once. What? Tell Liao what I encountered. What I saw. What I heard. What I felt, what I thought, my ideas changed, many changes. I want to let Liao know. I want to see Liao, I want Liao to see me. I'm happy I not take Liao's spirit power. I'm happy Liao's alive, I'm happy Liao can still see me. I don't want to leave. Liao's here, I won't go. Tribe is important, Liao is important, I want to change. Tigers say a lot, I understand. I want a way to stay with Liao. I can't help but shy away. His sincere words left me blushing with the biggest smile across my face. Bugger off. Sorry, I can't bear to listen to this shit. What? If I must say it, Leopard needs to amplify his powers. In order to accomplish this, an oracle needs to act as his conduit. You're suitable for the role, but as I described before, you need to trust Leopard and allow him to release his power through your body, which kind of means you must let him possess your body. Possess me, you mean? Exactly. But you must be willing to do so first. And it's not only you. Your body must trust him as well. Alas, I'd rather not even consider it. But this is the only way we can confront him. Liao, after everything you've said about him, and after everything you've demonstrated, are you okay with this? Uh... Ever since Leopard attacked me, I never believed for a second that he meant to hurt me. Now I know Senpai tricked him into it. Now I know he never wanted to hurt me. But after all of that, do I trust him enough? Okay, as you know, even if you accept it in your mind, that does not mean it'll work. If you want to do it, and if you make it happen, I will leave that for the two of you to decide. Take this opportunity to discuss anything you want. My presence would just meddle with the process, so I'm going to take my leave. Oh, without much of a fuss, Tiger returns to his statue. The sudden silence leaves me and Leopard nothing to do but stare at each other. Uh... This is the part where we need to talk about this, but I'm too embarrassed to know where to begin. We need to work out if this can work. I just don't know what to talk about. Um, Li Kalao. What's up? What you said earlier, are you really going to tell me everything? Well, yeah. I don't know if you'll be able to answer me, but I'm going to ask. So, uh, how do you feel about my spirit power? You thought you could take it because of the leopard cat's deception, but now you know it'd kill me. Now that you can't take my power, what are you going to do if I can't go to Wutai? Is there any other way we can save the people of your tribe? I know I'm pushing him. I'm essentially forcing him to choose between me and his tribe. Even though he was tricked into attacking me, this is where I have to work out if he really does care about me. This isn't enough for me to trust him and he needs to trust me as well. Otherwise, this just isn't going to work. 
He needs to make me believe in him. Maybe I'm just being selfish. Can I really make him answer this? Even now, I'm forcing him to make a decision between me or his people. I want Liao. No spirit power. I just want Liao. What do you mean? Liao has no spirit power. Give power to the tribe. I still want Liao. What? Me without spirit power? I'll die without it. I'll take away Liao's spirit power. If not dead, I'll come back to Liao. I'll take care of you. Uh... I'm fast. Go to Wutai, go to Taipei, go back. But stay in Taipei, stay with Liao for life. So, what you mean is, after taking my spirit power, you were going to take responsibility and care for me for the rest of my life? Yeah. But if you took my spirit power away, I wouldn't be able to see you. Liao can't see, but I stay with Liao. But I wouldn't know. No matter, Liao can't see, I'll keep him safe, no danger. Uh, it's meaningless, I wouldn't know. I know, I would know. Even then, even then it's meaningless. See, I want to see Liao, I want Liao to see me. I know, I was wrong, not from trick. I thought it fine if Liao can't see me, I would stay, take care of Liao, it's fine. But I was wrong, I don't want Liao to not see me. Even if Liao doesn't die, I don't want that. Thank you for stopping me. Liao can see, I'm happy. Thank you for looking for me. Uh... Thank you, I'm sorry. Alright, you amaze me sometimes. You don't need to tell me thanks just because I came back for you. Isn't that what friends are for? You know, I've always been worried about you leaving me without us ever getting to say goodbye. Did I ever tell you that? It's natural that we want to see each other. That time you left without saying anything, I was really angry. Now, I know you never meant to hurt me. And I know that you care about me, so it's fine. From now on, please talk to me. Even if it's embarrassing, even if it's hard to do. Doesn't it feel better to reveal your heart to me? So, Cleo, I forgive you. Just as long as you tell me everything. I want to stay in Taipei. Wait, what now? I want to stay in Taipei. Tell Liao what I think. I want Liao to know. The tribe's important. I want to help him. Liao can't go. I'll find something, another way to do it. Liao's important. I'm fast. I go to both often. It's easy. I feel Liao's important, but not because of his spirit power. Not because Liao can see. I can stay with Liao, even if Liao can't see me. I feel love. What? You really don't know anything about this kind of stuff, do you? How could you? My voice trailed away as I spoke, until even I couldn't hear the rest leave my lips. How could you confess your love like this? It's nothing, so do you want to possess my body? I think we should try. So sudden. We should try it. My face is burning hot. After hearing his confession, I have to change the conversation. It's okay, won't you try to possess me? Uh, how do I do that? You don't know? I don't know. Uh, think about entering my body. <laughs> Leopard moves closer to me, but he doesn't enter my body. Instead, he wraps his body around mine tighter and tighter. My body is completely wrapped up in his arms. It's comfortable. I just don't know how to feel. What am I meant to do? How can I help him enter? No, help him possess my body. If this continues, there's only one move I can make. It doesn't feel right. I don't know why, but something's off. Uh... He's hugging me, but he's too careful, like he's afraid of hurting me by accident. Does he feel guilty? Maybe I'm not being clear enough. It feels like he's keeping a distance between us. No wonder this isn't working. I need to make the only move I can. I hug him back. I hug Likolau as tightly as I can, putting every last bit of my heart into it. I trust him. I've always trusted him. I know he won't hurt me. I know he's a good person. After what he told me, it doesn't matter whether he wants to hurt me or not. He cares about me, he values me dearly, and if it comes down to it, he'll protect me. Just knowing that is enough for me. I'll keep hugging, pulling him tight against me. He seems to hesitate for a moment, but soon hugs me back just as tightly. We hug each other as tight as we can, big hug session, and naturally we kiss. I don't know why I do it, everything just seems to go by in a blur. I slip my tongue into his mouth, and he responds passionately, licking back against me. Alright, it's picking up. His tongue is prickly against mine, but it's not uncomfortable. Actually, the way it scratches kind of feels good. He's got that cat tongue. Alright, did I just embellish the feeling of a cat tongue? Yeah, you did. As we kiss, I melt into his arms, his warmth radiating around my body. I feel him pushing me firmly against his chest. It feels violent and reckless. However, I know. He feels comfortable with me now. My body begins to relax as I let him have his way with my body. 
his body becoming warmer all the while until I'm blanketed in warmth as if I was sinking into an infinite pool of intensely heated water, my body submerging into its depths. I open my eyes to find I'm already kneeling on the floor, my hands resting against the tiles like a cat on all fours. Leopards already possess my body. My consciousness is vague. It's very different from when Tiger possessed me. Is it okay that more than one people possess him at a time? I don't know. Maybe Leopard isn't familiar with me, like he's still feeling around, trying to work out what to do. I can vaguely sense him apologising in the back of my mind. I look around and everything seems to be different. Like my senses have become sharper. The colours I see become hard to describe. Scents of wood and dust seem to have an impression on my nose. It takes time to adjust. It seems you are successful. Uh. Leopard let out a confused sound in my voice. Now that you've succeeded, you might as well do as planned and try to find that fiendish cat. Hurry up and end it. It's not easy to watch my Jutong being possessed by another god. I can clearly sense Tiger's protective instincts at work. I understand how difficult this must be for him. Through my mind, I try to tell Leopard to start searching for Senpai. Leopard quickly understands. He raises our head. Our head. His head is pointed toward the ceiling, but I don't know what to see. It's as if leopard possession has left my normal sensations behind for something different, even the smell of air indistinct, regardless of how much I breathe in. It feels like my form is suddenly released, my spirit permeating from my physical existence. It's like a radar pulsing out from my body, defining the space around me as a series of surfaces reflected in space. The field rapidly expands, the buildings around me appearing within my sight as objects in all three dimensions. Soon we find our target, it's close, closer than I would have expected. A distinct feeling emanates from Senpai's apartment over our campus. He hasn't really left yet. Actually, couldn't it just be his smell lingering in his room? From the back of my mind, I feel Leopard deny my thoughts, he's certain it's him. But if Senpai really did trick Leopard into killing me, why would he stick around? Could Lin Hu's speculation be wrong? It gives me hope. Actually, this might be pretty easy to confirm. I pick up my phone. Leopard's possession makes it hard to move, but I managed to dial the number. Handy that I've had to call him a bunch of times, I guess. Surely enough, no dice. What's going on? Senpai is at home, but he didn't answer. I mumble through my words. I don't know what it is, but I think Leopard's possession is stopping me from being able to talk clearly. Oh, the fiend's still at home. Which home? It's not worth the effort to muster a response. Even with Senpai in his dorm, I doubt he'd answer the door. Maybe I should wait for him to come out. What will Leopard do now that we've found him? Would he attack Senpai? I know Leopard's mad at him, but we don't know the whole situation yet. Senpai didn't run away, so there's still a chance that something else is going on. We just need to work it out. Ah, oh, you have a way, but it's very tiring. Something you can do because you're possessing my body. I hear Leopard's consciousness speak to my own. We should try it then. I know it's unkind of me to expect Leopard to give Senpai the time of day after he just lied and tricked him into trying to kill me, but I just don't want to accept that Senpai would do that. If this is what it takes to stop an innocent person from being hurt, I want to see him. It's as if my mind is pulled away from my body, moving away to some distant place but fixed on its destination, my vision a void of chaotic light until... A flash, my vision blinded by its intensity. As my sight adjusts, a vision of somewhere I wasn't before appearing. The fuck is this? Is that Senpai? Senpai? Why is he on the floor? His face looks like... Is that his human form? How is this possible? It can't be. No. No. It can't be. Liao! Liao, are you okay? Uh, what happened? You pushed Likolau from your body. Were you taken by surprise? Senpai? He's dead. Dead? Yeah. And what about the fiend? No, he's not there. So, what, you made him drink some kind of suicide pill or something and then left the body? What the, what? I suppose our fiendish cat has run away leaving the husk of your senpai behind. If it's as you say, how did he die? Could Yansuchi's soul have been eaten? Does it mean senpai's dead? For real? Can we save him? Well, if we say that only his soul was taken, his body should be fine for the present. 
We might stand a chance if we could return his soul, but we need to find the soul then. Which depends on whether we can find the fiendish cat or not. Likalao, can you find him? Yes. But Liao, what about me? He would need to possess your body again. Issue being the instability of your emotions. I'm worried. It's fine, we don't have any time to waste, right? Come on, we've got to do this. Lin Hu and Leopard look eye to eye, exchanging a rare glance. Well, be careful. Now Liao, deep breaths, just calm yourself down, slowly, slowly, good. Liao, just relax, I'm entering. <laughs> oh, wait, what did he just say? Come on Liao, it's not the time for lewd thoughts. Ah, oh, we all thought it, come on. <laughs> I follow Lin Hu's instructions and try to relax as I lie down on the bed. Leopard touches my head gently, a stream of energy flowing through his touch. Similar to the last time but softer, my body feels as though it's submerged into a pool of warmth. Leopard's spirit streaming into my body. As soon as I adjust, he begins his search. Off we go. Once again, our form is released, Leopard's consciousness spreading out to a far greater range than before. Streets, cars, buildings, and even mountains expanding further and further. Then we reach the same smell. We found him. Oh, he looks evil. It's Senpai. Leopard Cat. Leopard's thoughts echo in my mind. It's totally Leopard Cat. He possessed Senpai's body for so long, their smells are one of the same. It has to be him. So he's the one who tricked Leopard into attacking me. He's the one who took away Yansuchi's soul. There's no way I'll forgive him. Leopard's feelings resonate with mine in the back of my mind. He draws us back, our consciousness suddenly back in the room. Are you okay? Not really. That's completely fair. Now what do we do? That kitten definitely took Yansuchi's soul. If we could retrieve it quickly, his life might be saved. But to be honest, to be honest, I think I know what he's about to say and I'm not ready for it. He would have most likely eaten it. In any case, we can't exactly take it back. I could think of no reason for him to carry it around with him. In other words... Senpai is dead. Yeah. We can't save him. Essentially, it would be pure dumb luck. I hear teardrops patter as they rain onto my bed. How did this happen? Senpai... Liao, please, make up your mind. He's running away from us. No matter what, Yensuchi's body won't last much longer. You've got to decide. Uh, I don't know. Every second matters, Liao. If we destroyed him, would you accept it? I don't know. However, that's the right thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. He hurt Liao. Uh, Likolao, are you able to catch up? Yes. In that case, go ahead and see if you can find Yensuchi's soul. If possible, bring it back. If not, destroy the fiend. Can you accomplish that? Yep. Well then. Uh, I wanna come. Liao? Kao, you said I can travel with you through the spirit path. You can possess my body, so we can do this together. I'll be safe. Liao, why would you wish to do that? Considering your condition right now, I've got to go. If I don't, I'll just regret it for the rest of my life. I have to know what happened. Even if I need to kill Senpai or Leopard Cat, I don't want to run away. And that's how it is. You're stronger than I ever could have imagined. Lin Hu places his paw atop my head. His warm reassurance is welcoming, but it does little to ease my muddled heart. Shall we go? Yeah. Leopard once again possesses my body. I don't know why, but I feel calm. I guess I'm ready. I feel Leopard take control of my body. His steps are unstable, maintaining a posture akin to a cat walking on its back two legs. It feels odd for my human body to move like this. Basically, we only manage to make it a few steps out of the door. It's a strange feeling when Leopard then leaps into a shadow beneath the staircase. Wait, there's a spirit path right outside my room? That's kind of close. Alright, off we go. The inside of the spirit path feels like I'm standing in an endless sea of grey mist, barely able to see my feet, the ground of fine sand beneath me. But the sea is not without any direction. Trails seem to lead off in particular ways. Although they take no visual form, I have a feeling that these trails are the only ground to walk upon. Leopard cautions me from the back of my mind that if we wander too far, we might break into the realm of the gods. 
considering this is a path for spirits, it makes sense, but it's no less incredible. Leopard walks off along one of the trails, shortly emerging from the spirit path out of another shadow. It looks like we emerged in the dense mountain forest, nothing but plants and trees surround us. I lost my direction long ago, but it seems like Leopard knows exactly where to go. We jump between the trees, running along them at speeds I don't even think my body was capable of. Can I do this because I'm being possessed? It doesn't take long before I can see the figure of Leopard Cat in the distance. He hasn't noticed us yet. I ask Leopard if he can see Suchi Senpai's soul. It's gone. But I wanted... No, I have to let Leopard do what he has to do. I'll just try not to think about it. Leopard jumps across a tree in front of Leopard Cat, slightly raising his hand. With his movements, the air changes direction slightly. Leopard Cat seems to have noticed. He stops, cautiously looking up into the sky. What? Is it? A lightning bolt strikes down, piercing the air around it. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I'm scared. All this time, I've been telling myself this might have to happen, but actually seeing it. As quickly as it hit, the lightning fades away, leaving nothing but burnt trees and shrubs in its wake. Leopard Cat is gone entirely. That's it. He's gone. When a spirit dies, of course they just disappear. And of course, Senpai's soul as well. Leopard doesn't do much to hide his feelings of pity. Neither do I. Once again, we return home through the spirit pass. My body returned to me as soon as we get back. I suppose I don't need to ask. Liao, if you ever want to talk, I'm here, always. Yeah. I should take care of Senpai's body. Uh, I can call him a body now. I wonder what everyone at club's going to think. I don't want to. I don't want to face it. Ah, oh, what? I pretended to look for Senpai, asking the dorm management to open the room for me. Yansuchi's death in his room quickly became news around campus. He was like a celebrity among our friends, not to mention everyone who saw him perform on stage. I was shocked by how many people came to burn incense in the aftermath of his passing. An area next to the club room was even put aside for all the flower offerings. Senpai's family came as well. They interrogated me desperately. After all, I was the first person to discover the body. It was miserable to have to deal with them. I insisted that he had been depressed and I went to check up on him, leaving out everything about the gods, Yaogai and my spirit powers. In the end, they had to let me go. I didn't kill him, but I think they knew the, about the rumours between us. Even if they had no reason to suspect me, they didn't like me. Honestly, considering how powerful they were, I had no doubts they'll try to cause me trouble in the future. The cause of death was never found. It was just announced as a heart attack. Afterwards, the faculty advised students about the careful use of appliances. There wasn't a fuss over it, and that's how Yansuchi, my senpai, died. Once everything settled down, Leopard told me that he was leaving. He felt ashamed that he tried to kill me. As much as I plead that it was okay, he insisted. Lin Hu said that this was for the best, that he might be tricked again someday. Although I was worried about his tribe, it's not my problem anymore. It's not like I could change anything, I just had to let it go. At that point, I was completely over all the spiritual nonsense. Lin Hu respected my feelings and didn't mention anything about going home until later that year before my summer holiday. Then the day came I had to return to the Mazu Temple. Lin Hu helped me to keep the other guardian tigers from bothering me, so it wasn't that bad. Afterwards, I started my second year at college, back to my completely normal life as an ordinary college student. It's exactly what I was searching for all the time, my hope of for an ordinary life. I should be happy, but why do I feel like something's missing? That ending though! That was rough! That was crazy! Oh no! So, we got it. We got the final ending for Guardian Tiger. That was rough. I really wasn't expecting that. Alright, shit. So, there's one ending to go. Leopard Cat, his final ending. Do Is, is it canon that he's trying to kill me? Or is it going to be like an alternate version? His other endings, I can't lie, were pretty weird. We got hit by the car and stuff like this. So we're going to find out. And there's one more of the gallery to fill up. So that is it. One more ending to go. Leopard Cat, what is your game? And yeah, this is crazy. And yeah, this is Usho signing off. 
and you better come back next time. Let's see what happens. <laughs>